Macy Hensley here again in Council Grove, Kansas. Today's History at Home lesson is going to be about President Martin Van Buren. Van who? Exactly! I'm going to be focusing my lessons on the most obscure presidents in the United States. So, let's get started! This is History at Home. Buren was our eighth president of the United States. He may be best known for his rather large and hairy sideburns. I'm sure glad I don't have sideburns like these. Did he have to comb them? Did he use shampoo to wash them? Anyways, back to Van Buren. He was the first president to be born in the newly established United States of America. The previous seven presidents were born while we were under British rule. Ever since the ratification of the Constitution in 1790, it has been a requirement that every presidential candidate must be a natural-born citizen of the United States. Fun fact, you also have to be at least 35 years old to run for president, so I will be first able to run in 2048. Vote for Macy Hensley in 2048! Van Buren was elected president in 1836 and inaugurated in March of 1837. Upon moving into the White House, he changed the tradition of having the White House, or President's House, as it was known then, open to the public. Anyone could walk into the President's House, but during Van Buren's presidency, he ordered guards to be stationed at all the doors to prevent unwanted visitors from entering. Can you imagine the White House not heavily guarded? Or the president without secret service? Today, more than 1,300 officers from the Uniform Division are responsible for the security of the White House. Okay, once again, back to Van Buren. Okay, did you know Martin Van Buren might be responsible for the phrase, okay? Martin Van Buren grew up in Kinderhook, New York. His slogan during his re-election campaign was Old Kinderhook, which his supporters shortened to OK and made buttons and formed OK clubs. But Van Buren's campaign must have been less than OK because he lost the re-election, only serving one term as our President of the United States. A notable quote of his, As to the presidency, the two happiest days of my life were those upon my entry upon office and my surrender from it. Too bad he didn't enjoy the 1,450 days in between a little more. So, now you know a little more about this obscure president in American history. This is Macy Hensley, and until next time, remember, history is made every day, even at home. I can't wait to see what's next.